Hello everyone and welcome back to our second lesson about the Sicilian night of opening. So today we will learn and improve our skills in a very important opening, you know, one of the most common openings in the world nowadays. So this game I played against one of my friends, international master Jonathan Bakalshuk is very creative one he's very tactic he's very strong in blitz and bullet and this game we played six years ago in the israeli league i played with the black pieces and let's see how it goes so e4 e4 c5 of course knight e3 d6 we already remember how the knight of will come into the board so d4 c takes d4 knight takes d4 knight f6 knight c3 and a6 so as you know this is the start of the night off and this is the sixth move for white he can decide a lot of moves to play the last game we saw uh, i thought it was like bishop e2 e6 a4 and b6 right b6 was a mistake and we learned about it so in this game he played the move bishop e2 i played the move e6 and now he played the move castle so i played the move bishop to e7 f4 and queen c7 so the point of queen c7 is also to protect from e5 and also as we already uh, studying it we, we want to play b5 and after bishop f3 we will have the possibility to play bishop b7 for example if he's playing the move king h1 like he played in the game but okay i didn't play the move b5 but b5 is also one option bishop f3 bishop b7 e5 we will take the pawn take the pawn and knight df knight fd7 and now the point that he maybe can play the move bishop f4 and just develop in one move this bishop but but the point is that if we are playing for example b5 immediately we can't do it because of bishop f3 bishop b7 and now e5 and we have here double attack so this is already very bad for black so queen c7 is very important move in this opening he played the move king h1 and now i played the move castle because i didn't want to bring him the opportunity to play bishop f3 bishop b7 e5 d takes f takes knight fd7 like we saw but now he will develop his bishop in one move okay so for example i wanted that after castle if he will play for example bishop e3 i will play now b5 bishop f3 bishop b7 e5 takes takes knight fd7 and now probably he should waste another move to protect this pawn on e5 with bishop f4 so this was my point but after castle he played the move a4 very logical just avoiding to play the move b5 right so as we, we already talked about a4 is very good move for white because he wants to avoid from b5 right but unfortunately for him the disadvantage of this move is that he's forgetting about this square the b4 square so i'm playing the move knight to c6 i want i want to bring the knight to b4 and here we will see that this knight is doing a just a tremendous work here so he's playing the move bishop to e3 makes a lot of sense develop a piece i'm playing the move bishop d7 i think also knight b4 makes a lot of sense in this position maybe it's also was better choice for me to play knight b4 instead of bishop d7 but also bishop d7 makes sense we want to develop a bishop we also want to co 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 connect between the rooks also rook ac8 will come you know the next move so let's see he played the move knight b3 also very logical move by jonathan he wants to push a5 maybe to play bishop b6 and you know uh, to disturb my queen on c7 so a lot of sense uh, and another thing very important that maybe he thought i want to take this knight and play bishop c6 and to put this bishop on this diagonal so in playing the move knight b3 also uh, you know like very common in in uh, in the chess uh, in this chess opening of course so i played the move knight before as we talked about a5 and now i thought i played a very important move I, I i think that a, as you can see the last move that our opponent played was a5 so what he wants to do what is the threat each move that our opponent is playing we must ask ourselves what is the threat what he wants to do so he wants to play bishop b6 and after he will play bishop b6 where do we want to put our queen 
So queen c6 is not feeling good because knight d4 or bishop f3 and e5. So no, queen c8, not feeling good. But I think the logical move is to put the queen on b8. But oh, our rook will be on a8. So no, I will play rook a c8. I will bring the rook into the game in this c file that we already understand that it's very important file for us. He will play... If you will play bishop b6, we will put our queen to b8, okay? So for example, queen b8, and now also don't forget, we are controlling the e5 square. So we sp he played the move bishop f3, and now I think that I also made a, a very important move uh, in this opening. I played the move rook f8, you know, in, in neither we don't need to be hurry, right? We don't have like uh, one very uh, good move to play, so let's just develop, let's just improve our pieces. So rook f8 is improving our rook from f8 that is doing nothing for now to, f to e8 that maybe in the next future we will play d5 or e5 and this uh, file will open. So rook f8 also a waiting move and also developing and improving our rook. He will he play the move bishop b6, we will play queen b8, and now queen e2. Also, I think very logical moves by my opponent. He wants maybe also to control the rooks, also e5, maybe to threat, because this bishop will open, and uh, of course like this, right? So, um, so queen e2 is very, you know, uh, makes a lot of sense move. And now I played important move, I think. Um, and I, I really recommend you just stop the video and think by yourself what is the move for black? What is the best move to also avoid from uh, the white's uh, threats and also uh, to improve our position, to think about uh, our plan. So the move is e5. As you can see, the bishop on f3 now is a big pawn. And no, nevertheless, we would like to play bishop e6 and bishop c4. To develop our bishop to improve his position on on the board for example after f5 we will have the d5 move very very strong move for example after knight takes d5 is bad bad move because i really just think takes takes and bishop b5 taking this rook also e4 bishop d6 it's a winning position already and after d5 if he's taking with the pawn i i think just e4 just opening all the uh, all the structure bishop takes e4 for example bishop d6 you can see that we uh, sacrifice two pawns but just game over i think this rook is doing great job this rook fantastic file this bishop and a queen doing just incredible work this knight strong this knight and also this bishop will come from b5 i think this position is just a game over because everything is under attack here and white uh, will collapse very soon so after e5, he took the pawn on e5, I took back, and now he played the move queen to f2. I think maybe his, his point was maybe to push knight to c5. Now I play the move bishop e6. But unfortunately for him, knight c5 doesn't work here because we will take it, I think. He will take and we will take the c2 pawn, right? And now if he's taking the knight, we will take the bishop. We have one pawn up, right? So knight c5 is not working. He played the move rook f to d1 so one point that i i forgot to, to tell you that after bishop e6 also we are developing a bishop right to a better position also we want maybe to bring the knight to d7 and kick away this bishop from b6 and also we are protecting the f7 pawn from this file so bishop e6 is very um, controlling move he played the move rook fd1, I played the move knight d7, bishop a7, queen c7. Of course, we are bringing the queen into the game and we are not playing queen a8 because she is doing nothing there. So queen c7, rook a4, and now I play the move queen to c6. And as you can see, you can stop the video now and think what is the threat that I made now for white. But my opponent, unfortunately, didn't uh, saw it. He played the move bishop to e3. And now you can stop the video and think by yourself, how can I won, win this position? What is the tactic, he tactic, that we just, you know, crushing the white uh, structure and the game? So the solution is knight takes c2. Brilliant tactic that comes 
and if quintex c2 just quintex a4 and as you can see this file is the most important file in nidorf so after knight takes a4 rook c2 and we have exchange up one pawn up everything is just uh, you know uh, like in the air and black is just winning so after knight c2 he played the move knight d2 i took uh, I played the move knight c5, of course, just uh, attacking this rook on a4. He played the move bishop c5, bishop takes c5, queen g3, and now just bishop d4. Quiet move, and there is nothing to play uh, for white because we are one pawn up, two bishops, and the rook is just, you know, don't have words to explain. Rook cannot go a1, a2, a3, so the next move will be bishop takes c3, and the rook is just trapped so after knight db1 for example just bishop b3 and the rook is gone so here my opponent my friend jonathan resigned the game and uh, yeah i achieved a very important win in the night of opening so ladies and gentlemen i really hope you enjoy this video if you really enjoy it if you learn something click the like button and also subscribe my channel see you soon in part three of Sicilian Night of Opening. Bye-bye.